Welcome! This is Ubidium, the next generation timing system. In this video series, we will show you the advantages Ubidium brings for all race timers, whether they are high professional or beginner level, and we will show you how to use it. If you hold Ubidium in your hands for the first time, you'll realize it's much smaller and lighter compared to our Decoder 5000S series and also compared to most other timing devices out there. It's around 4 kilograms with two batteries inserted. So let's take a closer look. Press the on-off button one second to boot Ubidium. Here we have the passing LED that can be adjusted in brightness. It will blink once you have a passing recorded. The start button is green, so all fine. If it's red, you should walk to the system and check what's going on. We have a large LCD at the top, which is readable in all conditions. With the buttons, you go through the menu structure and change settings. Under this flap, we have all connectors. Details will be explained in the next video. The flap will always flap down and the cables are routed through this broom. This protects the connectors from rain and splash water. So as all of the top construction is also waterproof, you do not need to cover this device to protect it from rain or mud. If it gets dirty, just take it with you under the shower. Another big advantage, the display and buttons do not need to be covered, so they are always accessible during timing. The batteries are inserted here at the bottom. If needed, replace one after another as there is no additional backup battery inside. The lock here prevents you from opening both compartments at a time. On the back side, we have the connectors for the active loop where you directly plug in the cable, so no more active extension required. And here you connect the ground antenna. It is a revolutionary concept you will get the transponder data from all reader elements into the system and at the same time power the antenna elements with this single plug. Every antenna segment of the new MAT holds its own UHF reader. This black antenna here collects the transmitted data from active transponders, so put it up high if you want to receive this data. The bumpers at the sides are for protection, for easy stacking of several systems and to keep it a few centimeters away from the ground. They can be taken off, but we recommend leaving them on. During timing, you can place the system however you want to, but not bottom up and not with the flap up, because it will not be waterproof like this. Finally, we have a handlebar to carry this nice device to your next event. The whole form factor was especially designed to fit the needs of race timing and we hope you like it as much as we do. In our next video, we'll talk about the connectors that are here under this flap.